Now it's time for an update on my pulse. Wait, that don't sound right. A couple of weeks ago, we had a live stream where we opened up the Matter Hackers Pulse 3D printer. Now things didn't go quite right on that stream, so I thought I'd make this video as an update on what's happening with it now. I contacted Matter Hackers and they have corrected every issue that we saw. But I noticed right away when we opened the box that there was some shipping damage, including a broken 3D printed part. So during shipping, this Z-Rod holder was broken, and this Z-Rod was completely out of its seat. So it must have taken a really hard hit, because it was packed pretty well. The Bowden tube was also pinched up here at the extruder from that same jolt. Here's a look at the Z-Rod part that was broken. You can see it's broken almost clean through. I did try to glue it with no success. Not only did Matter Hackers replace the broken Z-Part, they replaced all the Z-Parts the two bottom motor holders, and the right Z-top bracket. They also replaced the Bowden tube that got pinched during shipping. So the next thing we ran into was a flaky BL touch sensor, and I'm still not sure what happened here, but I swapped it out with a sensor that I already had to get it working, and everything was going fine. I did later go back and test that BL touch sensor on another machine, the one that came off the pulse, and it worked correctly. So I put it back on the pulse, and I wired it up, and I got the same error the first time out. But then I reset the printer and everything was working fine. So I don't know. So next up we had issues in matter control. So every time I would try to slice a file, the model would just disappear and it never generated the G code. And I found out later that if your model has errors in it or it's not manifold, this is going to happen. But it doesn't give you any idea that's what's going on. So I told matter hackers about this and they've submitted a bug fix for this issue and that's going to help out going forward greatly. Now I did try to slice my own file in Slick3R to get this machine up and running, but I had to guess at what the Z offset was, and that resulted in a lot of bed crashing and me ultimately tearing the build tax sheet. But Matter Hackers corrected that as well, even though it was my own fault. You can see that the original build tax sheet is almost completely trashed, including a couple of very large rips in the center. This was from me having the nozzle too close when I was guessing at the Z offset in the slicer. But Matter Hacker sent me a brand new build tax sheet that I still need to put on free of charge. I did also mention to support that I was somewhat disappointed that the Pulse didn't come with an SD card reader or an LCD screen. They do offer an upgrade for the Pulse with an LCD, but it's $95 extra. Support did send me a riprap discount LCD that I could try out on the Pulse. They included with the screen this LCD surround, which is pretty nice. It has brass grommets in it and these two 3D printed holders so you could put it on the front of the printer. And I thought this was okay, but I thought we could make it look just a little more snazzy. So I borrowed a design from another printer that I know, and I made my own custom Matter Hackers Pulse LCD faceplate. You gotta love open source 3D printer designs. And lastly, I noticed as I was printing on the Pulse that the Bowden tube was jumping up and down inside the extruder a little bit, and that's not going to help your retraction at all. You really need a collet clip on top here to help keep it secure. You can see right there, there's just a little bit of play. Matter Hackers did state that this extruder doesn't come with one of those clips by default, but they did send me one that I could try out, and they said they'd also consider adding a 3D printed one to this machine in the future. And that is the update on the Matter Hackers Pulse. Now I have to switch this build sheet out, and I have to start printing a lot. I hope you found this video entertaining. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up or subscribing to my channel. If not, leave your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. <sighs> you gotta love glue on bed sheets. <laughs>